YouTube family, what's good? Yo, kick it with me for a little bit. So uh, last week I spoke about how they were changing the Bible and I said I was gonna make a video on it, so here we are. The reason I'm doing it is because of this gentleman named Julian Griffin who was talking to me on Facebook and this was under the uh, Flat Earth Globe channel and everything else. So if you guys are on this uh, page in YouTube, and uh, Facebook, excuse me, go check it out, the flat the truth of the Flat Earth Globe and science and all that, right? And um, you could see this under November 1st, under one of the videos that I produced. Let me get this thing back on. And so uh, in it, right here, this gentleman, I guess he's asking like legit questions as to why things are, are because he's still on the fence, it appears, between uh, globe and flat. So my thing was, I wanted to see what was his evidence for claiming that the earth is a globe. So he used the Bible. He used the scriptures, which I thought was rather fascinating because of what he presented to me. So you see right here, Isaiah 40, 22, everybody in the community, right, is familiar with Isaiah 40, 22. So I'm going to go to it on Bible.com and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave the link in the description box as well for y'all to see it. It's in Bible.com. Like I'm not joking. And it says right here and we see it over and over again. He is the one who sits upon the globe of the earth and its inhabitants are like locusts, right? When we all know it's supposed to say that sits upon the circle of the earth. And then everybody else is like a bunch of locusts, like a bunch, you know what I'm saying? So we know it's wrong, but this is what I was talking about. They're starting to change the Bible in our face. They're making a concerted effort to change the Bible, change specific words to give new meaning to what this place is that we call earth. Like, I'm dead serious. It's happening during our time. So you need to pay attention. You need to hold on to the scriptures that you got. Don't even rely on the one that you have on your uh, the electronic copies. Because I bet you they're making, they're making way with those too. And so also remember that they've got the AI involved. They've got the chat GPT and everything else involved. Not just the American Bible, but also Bibles from different lands. Bibles from different countries. Bibles uh, with different languages, right? They got a Chinese Bible where... Jesus, they said Jesus was a killer, right? They've got, a, they've got a LGB, not a, excuse me, not not that. They have a, a animal friendly Bible where, uh, what's his name? Uh, Abraham has a pet dog named Charlie. Some craziness like that. You know what I'm saying? So they're making they're making a concerted effort to change the scriptures. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this in the description box. I want y'all to go ahead and take a look at this craziness. This is just one example. Okay? All right. Oh, yeah. Before I forget YouTube, I, I wanted to give you guys a, uh, a, a peace out and goodbye. I wish y'all nothing but the best. Health, wealth, love, joy, prosperity, most of all wisdom. And with that, I love you. I'm out. Peace.